Imagine a reality parallel to our own, familiar yet not quite ours, where countless galaxies swirl through a vast shimmering expanse. Stars ignite, planets form, and everything dances to the same physical laws we've painstakingly uncovered, as if nature itself were speaking a language we already know. For ages beyond human comprehension, this cosmos stretches wider and wider, drifting gently apart as space swells between its island universes. But eventually, something subtle shifts. The delicate equilibrium holding everything in motion begins to falter. Instead of rushing outward, the cosmos feels itself slowing, like a deep, tired breath at the end of a long day. Then, gravity, ancient, patient, relentless, takes the lead. Expansion fades, stillness arrives, and slowly the great fabric of space curls inward, drawing every star and galaxy back into a tightening embrace. As the universe contracts, it hurtles toward a catastrophic climax, a point where space and time would unravel completely. But just when it seems destined to vanish into an impossible singularity, a strange defiance rises from the smallest scales of existence. Quantum forces, usually quiet and subtle, flare up and push against gravity's crushing grip. The collapse pauses, space shivers, and then, like a heartbeat restarting, the cosmos surges outward again. A brilliant rebound erupt, releasing a newborn universe. That universe becomes ours. In this telling, the Big Bang wasn't the first moment of everything. It was a turning point in a long, cyclical story. According to the standard model of cosmology, our own universe blossomed 13.8 billion years ago from an unimaginably dense, blazing origin. Space unfolded, cooled, and allowed gravity to sculpt stars, galaxies, and eventually, observers wondering how it all began. With the help of Einstein's general relativity, this framework clarifies many of the universe's most haunting signatures. The ancient microwave glow lingering across the sky, the sprawling cosmic web that stretches between galaxy clusters, and the bewildering acceleration of cosmic expansion often attributed to an invisible influence we call dark energy. Yet even with these successes, the most basic mysteries remain stubbornly unresolved. We still lack any clear understanding of what dark matter and dark energy actually are, despite the staggering claim that they dominate nearly all cosmic mass and energy. So scientists keep searching. What if the solution doesn't demand exotic ingredients at all? What if the universe can explain itself through the physics we already trust? A group of researchers from the University of Portsmouth have put forward a daring possibility. Perhaps our universe bloomed within a colossal black hole belonging to a far larger cosmos, its parent, so to speak. Their investigation began with a simple, almost childlike curiosity. Could a universe form the same way a dying star collapses into a black hole? Guided by this thought, they built simulations to test whether such a process might untangle inconsistencies in current cosmology. To their astonishment, they realized that a rigorous mathematical description of this exact scenario had already been derived. Their idea draws on a fundamental principle from quantum mechanics. Identical particles, like electrons or neutrons, refuse to occupy the same state together. This stubborn rule, known as Pauli's exclusion principle, becomes impossible to ignore when matter is squeezed into a tight space. The resistance created by this rule is called degeneracy pressure, the harder gravity tries to crush these particles into a single point, the more fiercely they push back. This invisible strength is what keeps white dwarves and neutron stars from collapsing without end, and in extreme cases, even ignites the titanic outbursts we call supernovae. In the researcher's framework, the same quantum resistance that stiffens the cores of dense stars also rises up when an entire universe caves inward. As everything compresses toward almost unimaginable density, this pressure intensifies until gravity's grip can no longer deepen the collapse. Instead of plunging into a point of impossible physics, the contraction steadies, then recoils, launching the cosmos into a fresh surge of growth. To anyone born inside this expanding realm, that rebound would look indistinguishable from a primordial birth event. 
And although scientists have floated bouncing universe ideas before, this version stands apart. It relies only on established physics and describes a purely gravitational implosion unfolding within a black hole without summoning unknown fields or exotic matter. Of course, while we understand how this resistance behaves inside compact stars, we've never watched matter reach the far more extreme densities that follow after a black hole forms. Yet the team argues that stopping the collapse before a true singularity is not only plausible, it might be the natural outcome once quantum effects take charge. And this is where the picture becomes startling. Their model indicates that ancient survivors, relic black holes or neutron stars forged before the rebound, could still be drifting through our universe today. If such objects were discovered, especially from the earliest cosmic epoch, they would strongly support this scenario. Consider that the Webb telescope has already uncovered massive, surprisingly mature galaxies at times when the cosmos should have been assembling its first structures. These stubborn early giants are difficult to reconcile under the standard view, yet are far easier to explain if early black holes acted as seeds for rapid formation. The hypothesis is bold, even unsettling, but the authors insist that questioning deeply rooted assumptions is essential if we hope to unravel the universe as strange as puzzles. And as luck would have it, the new Webb telescope observations of galactic rotation patterns may be steering us toward the same conclusion, that we might be living inside the interior of a black hole. A recent study reveals that the vast majority of galaxies seem to spin in the same direction. Researchers trace the curves of spiral arms using data peaks to determine their rotation, and to their surprise, the distribution isn't balanced. In a universe that should behave randomly on large scales, the split ought to be even. Instead, a clear preference appears, something current cosmological models can't easily justify. This unexpected pattern may hint once again that our entire cosmic home resides within a black hole. To see why, recall how black holes form. When matter collapses under its own gravity, it creates a boundary known as the event horizon, a one-way surface where anything that crosses is lost to outside observers. What unfolds beyond that boundary remains one of physics's deepest enigmas. This is the heart of black hole cosmology, sometimes called Schwarzschild cosmology. The idea that our visible universe might actually be the interior of a black hole embedded in a grander reality. Think about the Big Bang from this angle. According to the classic picture, the cosmos began from a point of mind-bending density, the same kind of mathematical singularity associated with the centers of black holes. If our universe is the interior of such an object, then the Big Bang wasn't a burst from empty nothingness. It was the moment matter in the parent universe collapsed and ignited a newborn cosmos on the inside. This interpretation leads to another astonishing thought. Every black hole we observe could harbor a fresh universe of its own. And perhaps the reason the laws of physics seem so well-tuned for complexity, life included, is that black holes producing stable offspring universes endure and multiply, creating a vast cosmic family tree. The scientists argued that this viewpoint could illuminate several long-standing riddles. For instance, black holes possess enormous entropy, reflecting an immense informational capacity, something our universe has in abundance. Another theoretical ingredient that might be crucial is torsion, a feature in extended versions of general relativity such as Einstein-Cartan theory. Torsion accounts for the spin of fundamental particles and can modify how space-time bends. Some researchers propose that this twisting element could create a counterforce at extreme densities, preventing a descent into an infinitely compressed point. If correct, then a black hole's core wouldn't collapse endlessly, it would rebound, potentially giving rise to a new universe inside. The team suggests that such a recoil could be the true event behind our own cosmic expansion. What we call the Big Bang may have been the aftermath of this internal rebound, rather than an emergence from absolute emptiness. In this view, universes might form continually, each sprouting from the collapse of a previous generation. Even more curious is the possibility that the cosmos may prefer a particular orientation. Large-scale maps reveal subtle alignments in the distribution and motion of galaxies, patterns that defy the assumption that the universe looks the same in every direction. If this directional tendency is real, it may point to deeper laws tied either to the universe's birth inside a black hole or to interactions between fundamental forces on the grandest scales. 
adding to the mystery, the discovery of enormous ancient galaxies so soon after cosmic dawn challenges our usual timelines for how structure grows. Still, the black hole interior interpretation isn't the only game in town. Some inconsistencies could stem from earlier measurement errors, especially regarding our own galaxy's rotation rate. Whatever the case, one thing is certain, the universe keeps surprising us. The unexpected imbalance in galactic spins will likely push astronomers to re-examine long-trusted assumptions about cosmic history. So, what's your take on all this? Share your thoughts below. And as always, thank you for exploring these cosmic wonders. After all, this corner of the universe exists for you.